Hello, I'm Abby O'Neill, Foundation Director for 2021-2022 of the Rotary Club of Tortola. My father, the late Honorable Ralph T. O'Neill, was past president and charter member of the Rotary Club of Tortola. Well, I think he personified service above self, given his career path and um, I wouldn't say politics, but his service to the country. And he always did for others, whether it was helping people personally or ensuring that his constituents were taken care of. He, he just always had this creed of taking care and helping others. And I think that's why, and I had conversations with him about it. He got involved with Rotary because he thought it would be good for the community uh, to, to have an organization like that where you could get civic-minded people together and get things done, whether partnering with organizations, government, individuals. It was just about the work and of course the camaraderie and fellowship that we share. And as a youngster, I grew up around Rotary. Every Easter bazaar, Christmas pageant, all the functions that were kid friendly, I attended. And um, I think it was when Rotary started um, backing the CATS program. He said, you're going to CATS. And, um, and I attended and I, I did well during the CATS program. I have very fond memories. And I later in my teenage years became a, a CATS assistant instructor, then instructor and a member of their board of directors. Because I was with CATS, I learned to scuba dive and that led directly to my um, career path right after high school, then into tourism. So CATS gave me Cats and Rotary gave me this, this career path that um, led to wonderful things. Um, it's a bit of a funny and strange story, actually. I started asking Dad to attend Rotary with him. Um, he had passed the requirement for attending meetings regularly, regularly. so he said, okay. Oh, and we went along, and I was very enthusiastic about it. And I, I, I started to learn about Rotary and got really excited. And I asked my father, would you sponsor me? He said, no. And then um, I said, okay, why? He didn't say anything. Uh, and even more so, I was, I was really getting into it and doing service projects, for following all the requirements to become a member. And then an RLI training session came up. And I asked if I could attend as a prospective member. And they said, of course, yes, this is what we want our perspectives to do. And then my eyes were opened wide to the role of Rotary in the district and the world. So I came home with my big binder. And I said to my father, right at that desk in there, Daddy, oh my God, Rotary is so amazing. I had no idea. This, I really want to be a part of this organization. Will you sponsor me? No. And um, I, in retrospect, and we talked about it, he wanted me to come to understand and learn about Rotary on my own. He also wanted to make sure that it wasn't just a, a passing fascination or anything like that. And I think, you know, he's one of those old school Rotarians, or he was. And I think he wanted me to get into the club on my own merit. So PP Mary Finley ended up being my sponsor. And, um, and dad, it, it was a proud moment for him. And he lived to see me um, not only be a part of the board of Rotaries several times, but also work at the district level uh, on several committees over the years. I, I really, enjoy the stories of him. I remember attending Rotary uh, as a child, meetings, a teenager mostly, uh, during summertime when they were at Treasure Isle. And he said, we sit here 
and we have our, you know, he had his own seat. And the funny anecdotes people tell about about him as a Rotarian, I'll never forget the appearances he made uh, on in in drag at the Christmas pageants. And I would be sitting next to my mom, and she would say, "But where Ralph gone with my hat?" And and he it all crush up, and I and she would get so upset. But it would everybody would be so happy and enjoying seeing you know Ralph O'Neill is the elected official parading around and playing the skits and everything like that. So that's a wonderful memory I have of him and him in Road Tree and that legendary Christmas pageant. Another thing I remember was how uh, proud he was when uh, PDG Vance became district governor, the first from the British Virgin Islands. Um, he, of course, was very interested in Vance's development and to see him reach that level uh, was quite something. And then to welcome our right, President Barry Rassen from our very own district to this home where he was awarded a Paul Harris Fellow um, for his service it was a special moment as well. There are many, many special moments. I'm just glad that I can carry the torch for PP Ralph, Daddy. Everybody tells me the stories of how he was adamantly against women joining Rotary and then his daughter comes along and joins the club. Um, I know it was under P.P. Elton that we, uh, of blessed memory, that we, we started having women in the club. But uh, yes, it is noted with great fact that Daddy was against women in Rotary. <laughs> But I think he came around in the end, uh, not because of me, but because he saw quality people joining the club like PDG Delma, PAG Lorna, and so on, and PP Mary, um, and the fact that they quickly rose to the level of president and were able to contribute through service, ideas, coordination, um, and that feminine touch that always uh, helped set things off just the right way. To me, he was daddy. We didn't always agree on policies that the government would take positions on. And I remember many a night at the dinner table asking, why are you doing this? That doesn't, you know, make sense. And, and this and that and the other. And he would take the time to explain to me and, and really get down into not the nitty gritty and the government business, but he would take the time to, even if we didn't end up agreeing in the end, to really explain what the theory was behind the decision. And, and I appreciated that because many would say, this is just what we're gonna do, but he made sure I understood the process. And, and that is something I will ever be grateful for.